Hey everybody, my name is Ray Shady, and today we're playing Aperture Desk Job. This is a free Steam game, so if you want it, you can get it. Currently optimized for the Steam Deck, apparently. And I saw it literally yesterday in a trailer while I was just br browsing trailers for games. And... I'm just curious now as to what this game is going to be about. And I can't help but think that's... I can't help but think that's Morse code. That has to be Morse code. Oh, so I can click on certain stuff. Okay. But I'm going to be playing this on a controller. So I'm not sure if that's going to affect anything. I'm going to turn subtitles on. And battery saver on my PC? No, that's okay. Enable Rumble? Yes. Alright. Let's do this. Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. I'm Cave Johnson, and if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. No, don't be bashful. It's true. No false modesty. Let's get started. Look at all those tubes stretching off in the distance. Every one of them's taking something important to a genius who's going to use it to change the world forever. A genius just like you. How are you going to change the world? Well, that's up to you. History will remember what you do here today. Do not let us and by us, I mean all of us, all of humanity, down. So congratulations. You are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on Earth. This is important work, and you are just the genius to do it. God gave you these gifts. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. Well, here's your lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton. Einstein. Wait a minute. That's, now you. that's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in. Hold on. Good luck. World's best science. Okay, here we go. You, in the overalls. Get to work or you're fired. Dad, they don't give out overalls anymore. Anyway. <laughs> <Your name's Grady. laughs> you can call me that. I mean, let's do introductions later. You should really already be... <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. Anyway, what? Uh, you are a... Uh, bu -bu -bu. Product inspector. That is your inspection desk there in front of you. You will be inspecting. Uh, okay, uh, doesn't say. Anyway, something is going to come down the conveyor belt. Whatever it is, make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's the whole job. Anyway, just remember the important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just I don't. It's it's real bad here. It's fine. You'll probably be fine. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Waiting for the thing to come in the conveyor. I know I should press the button. All right. Oh, yeah, here we go. L5. Wait a minute. I don't have an L5. X5BA. So only X I had to like. So X and A I can just tap. Y, y and B I have to hold. gonna ignore all those bullets that are just being filled with ammunition. D 
Dead gummit. I knew it. I, I left a volume down. Hold yeah, on. Zip zap zap. That is how you inspect a toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Look, it's not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> okay, good. You heard the important part. Wait, wait. Hold on. Have they all been smoking? No. You know what? It's not our job to test if the toilet's on fire, right? Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's somebody else's problem. No. Uh... You think your job's bad? I mean, your job is bad. Do you hear that? Hold on, I'll, let me take a look. Yeah, keep testing it. I think there's a jam in here. What? Can you get me out of here, please? Thank you. Yeah. How do I? Oh. Can you get me out of here, please? Nope. I'm just wet now. No. No, 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 no. That's just pushing me deeper in. Are you... What is your plan? Is your plan to just push me out the other end? Okay. It's working. Keep doing that. Uh... Oh. Oh, no. Just oh. Get it out of here. Oh, no. So, first off, I, I think we're in a lot of trouble here. Now... I also think we're going to be rich because I think you just admitted something. Okay, here's what we are going to do. I'm going to go work on this in secret. Just you go back and pretend to go back to work, right? Like uh -huh. it's got to look good. I mean, just pretend the most you've ever... You know what? Just go back to work, actually. Yeah, that works. I'll be back. <laughs> just... Yes, how are we going to... Oh, you know what? It could be like a secret company where you send them bullets and you send a, you send a toilet and it's to assassinate someone and they just never suspect it. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, first off, you did awesome pretending to calibrate all those toilets. The best. All right, are you ready for this? Presenting. Pre presenting the Aperture Science Turret. Go on, take it for a spin. Oh, God. The controls are right there on your desk. Yeah, and I haven't even showed you the best part. Here's the best part. Shooting. You know what, though? I mean, you're definitely going to kill yourself with it pointing at you like that. So let me just turn it around. Thank you. All right. Shoot again. Don't worry. It's safe. I mean, this time. This time it's safe. Last time it wasn't. You almost died. <laughs> wow. Holy moly, man. That is great. We just oh, broke man, more stuff. The broke. That was the only one, too. But don't even worry about it, because here's what I've actually been working on. Ta-da! Introducing the Mark II. Oh this is what I spent God. most of the six months on. It was one month for the first turret, and then like five for this bad boy. I thought we only oh, were man, gone you take my picture of this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. F12 to take. Are you taking the picture? Sure. Okay, good. Moment recorded for all the history books. Now for the fun part. You are going to take it for a spin. Here, let me turn it around. Thank you. Okay, oh normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. I go, okay, go oh. crazy. All those controls do something. All of them? Oh, also, some of the crates you're shooting at might explode. Don't worry about that. Oh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay, a part fell off. Keep going. Wait. Oh, 
All right, something else fell off. You can still shoot everything else. Don't even worry about it. Oh my gosh. Okay, quite a bit's falling off. Yeah, X doesn't okay, do anything. All X those controls do something. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. I bet it's the glue. I'm 99% convinced of that now. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah, spend the extra dollar. And yep, here we are. Oh my god. So, uh, I'm not cleaning any, oh gosh, it's doing the, it's doing the topple wow. effect. Alright, that, so some of the stuff I put on there just didn't work, most of it, like 90%, or even higher maybe, but some of it worked great. So all we have to do is keep the great stuff, and then we, then we can, so, okay. That's the police. So, one of us needs to streamline this turret, right? Uh -huh. And one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse. Because they're, this is a lot of damage and they're gonna look into this. Which job, which job do you want? How about I fix the turret and then you take, yeah, I'll do that for you. No, no. Ask, you don't know me, okay? Don't say no, get anything. Back here. No, you... Oh my gosh, am I actually taking a fall for this? I took a fall for that, didn't I? Yep. But they still didn't fire me. Hey! Well, I mean, wow. You are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. I mean, it was way later. more time than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, offender has been granted supervised early release. Please sign for your possessions. Inmates' possessions are as follows. Desk, one. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. Oh my gosh, thank you. After the tone, state your name into the desk. Rage Shady. I thought it would work. <sighs> Moving on. Now, type your name. Type your name. Okay. Moving on. Wait, I didn't now, read the. Hang on. Sign your name. Hang on. Wait, wait. wait. Aperture, science, DBA, blah, 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 blah. as is without any warranty. Sign your name. Uh, IRS is not responsible for any crimes committed in the past immediate present. Distant sign past. Your name. Shut up. For instance, if the prisoner goes to become Jack the Ripper, you're welcome to sue somebody, but that person better be name. in Victorian era England because we didn't have anything to do with it because we weren't even born yet and time travel is illegal Offender anyway. Must sign name on the same <laughs> desk used to, as a condition of supervised early release. Dig it. Parolee and desk agree to report within 15 days. Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. I'm your parole officer. I mean, not just you. I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now, but they're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but anyway, <laughs> that's all I was doing. I got oh, something poor to show Tony. you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late to met. You are both free to go. Yes. Oh, uh, bring your desk. How do I, how do, how did I get this in here? Look at those days. 
All right, back okay. into it. I streamlined the turret while you were gone. Introducing the Mark III. Ta-da! So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now. It shoots. It didn't need a satellite dish. That was just dumb. Here, tried on these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department in, in a locked room. Did that? Okay, no, it came out of the... I like that tattoo on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's like a, is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. The more I look at the tattoo, the more I'm thinking we should both have, because then we'd be tattoo bros. Anybody were gonna look at us and know we are friends. Did you give me the same tattoo? Would that be weird? It would be weird having the same exact one. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll think of one. Be weird. Like I think we can have the same thing. Coming out of the side of my head, and it's holding a wrench. So you got the dragon and the knife, and mine's similar but more robot themed. Wait, man, that'd be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you: gyroscopic controls. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, <laughs> and keep that thumb <laughs> on the right thumbstick. And you just, shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try. Yeah, it's, it's real. It's just pick up the desk. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep huh? that thumb on. How much did the tattoo hurt when you gave it to yourself? Did you have the proper tools? I would bet not actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. I can't. I can't do the gyroscopic because I'm not on a or something. That sounds, Steam Deck. That sounds I just have a controller. Another tattoo idea I just had, instead of a robot hand coming out holding a wrench, what if I'm it was like a skeleton hand? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he human on the inside, or does he have like a skeleton trapped in him? You know what? Skeleton on tattoo. I decided. That's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pen and we can heat up that lighter. All right. Everything checks out. This thing sure. is perfect. I think we're good to go here. So, I was saving the best for last, but while you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's going to make us rich forever. Are you ready? Let's what would you go. do with money, actually? You, you, like, you were literally made to work here. mantises are like the real scientists what are you gonna do with your share of the money I know what I'm gonna pay do off is my pay debt. off the money I borrowed to make this turret like immediately pay it off <laughs> or exactly I'll, I mean whew, I'll be in some real trouble yeah Bust I'll pay off my debt I have to pay that too. <sighs> Does it make sense to you that the vig is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it. That's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. Appliances I stole from housewares. Oh, fire! It's got a gun. It's an ambush. No, Man, I was trying to fire. Good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spares. Let's go. I knew it. It's the housewares department. How did they find out about our turret? I can't believe it. They stole our idea and. Now they're gonna kill us with it. House squares, man. They're never gonna stop ambushing. I mean, it's not really an ambush anymore. We know they're coming, but I don't think they're gonna stop coming, though. We need to think of something else. Who's that? I do wish I had rockets, though. 
Rockets would be nice. I really think they're gonna keep coming for like basically forever. They can keep coming all they want. Housewares, man. Can you believe it? Those guys are such pieces of. What did we ever even do to them? We mm, did probably blow up a bunch of their stuff. If that was all their stuff in the warehouse we originally blew up. Nice work. I got the elevator working again, but we have another 80 floors before we get to cave. We're not gonna survive 80 ambushes in a row. Your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So, if you hit all four buttons at once, it should rocket us up through all Which eight levels real fast. Four buttons. And then up through the floor of Cave's office. Which four buttons? I have eight buttons there. Automatic death launch sequencer engaged. Here we go. We are going for launch. I just hit all eight. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Modesty panel set to flight configuration. Three, two, one. We have lift off. Okay, All right. really nice work. Good shooting. I think we're good from here. They probably gave up. I have given up by now. <sighs> okay, let's go show this thing to Cave. Where is it? Also, yes. I do have one quick confession. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. I lied about that. But it turns out, I didn't know this, it turns out nobody's seen him in years. I did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. Uh -huh. I think he might be a millionaire recluse now. So be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. Oh, God. Hello, Mr. Johnson? Did he get crushed by the head? Let's just go in. Mr. Finally, Johnson, are you here? I thought he died of his illness. Hey there. It's me, Cave Johnson. No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm gonna level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A giant head? <laughs> Off by a mile. No. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first plan was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body, and hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? Still under the head, somewhere, all crushed up. Couldn't support the weight. So the lab boys put me in the big head, switched me on, and, uh, I don't know, I panicked. Killed a few of them. Said I'd kill more if they ever came back. Honestly, I, I regret that now. Anyway, that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Huh. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Now, don't worry about me. It's been a full life, but we're done here. I'm itching for the next step. Heck, I'm excited about it. Don't even think of it as killing me. You're breaking me out of prison. I'm just data now. I need you to crack this big clay head open so I can spill out into the universe. So, what do you two eggheads got? Uh, you, uh, you are in luck. We actually came up here to show you our new invention. 
Good stuff. Let's see it. Show him, partner. Well, I'm waiting. I get it. It feels weird to shoot at the boss, but it's... Whoa! That'll work. To be honest, I thought you were too lunatic to drag the toilet up here. You are cheating. Oh, no. What? You are made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. Is it working? In the head, I can't see. It's working great, sir. It doesn't feel like it's working, but... Here they are again. I don't think it's working. But... Well... Hey, you see that? I think that's his power source. Just unplug him. Up, oh, here we go. Powering down. The great beyond. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. All right. Suffering ended in three... Two. Ah. Backup power activated. Gosh, damn it. <laughs> uh, you're both fired. No, we didn't die. Don't... your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin or I won't be able to see them. Uh-oh. to you know take what? the fall for this? It just occurred to me that the only person who knows Cave Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah. Why? Do you know what the punishment for murder is? They told us in parole officer school, you're not going to like this. Uh, it's life. Your whole life in prison. We should... Yeah, we, we, we should leave. Don't touch anything. And bring the desk. You're in the room. You're, you saw it. You, you can vouch for me. No. No. Is this what Morning, happened? Charlie, it's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey, it's just me, Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, this witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. I like yours a lot, by the way. You know, come to think of it, you'd think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. Feels like everything is exactly the same. Yep. Except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Charlie. <laughs> I can't even test. Is that what happened? Oh, he's still alive.
J.K. Simmons. And with that, I think that's it. So that's what it's been. That's what that is. All right. This is it's, 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 it's like I'm like 100% sure this is Morse code. Let's go ahead and uh, figure this out. Long, long, long. That's five. That's four. That's zero. Five, four, zero. Well, as of right now, I have no idea, so. The game literally came out two days, so there's nothing about it really online. Ah, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I, I may be looking into this further, and when I'm editing, I might find something. Who knows? That's everything I can do for now. Alright. Hope you all enjoyed. Rain Shady out. Peace. <laughs>